no. It'll be 150. 150? I don't know. I have $2. Thank you. Hey, what's going on guys this is body odor vlog whatever <laughs> right now I'm outside of my condo and I'm in a big open state national park I forgot the name of this park um, but I made it a mission to get outside of my condo and be around nature and just live I guess um, I don't know if this is really living because I'm outside of nowhere there's some people, there were some people like looking at me, sort of like spying on me a little bit. They were watching me, seeing where I was going with some shit. Maybe they thought I was going to steal some shit. But that's besides the point. Um, but yeah, today is a Saturday. It's not really, there's no sunlight because it was raining for the past, mm, it was just raining this, this day. So now it's like gloomy and humid and I'm sweating. So yeah, but. I think this is great. I think it's great. I'm out in the open. I'm not cooped up in my condo. The thing about with this condition is that you want to just stay inside wherever area you, you live. Like, you know, your house, your apartment, condo, whatever. Um, but I noticed for me on the weekends when I'm done with work and I stay in just a condo for just a whole weekend, I feel sort of depressed. I feel sort of like sad and stuff. I remember watching this video about um, what happens if you never go outside. And it was talking about a lot of things. It was hitting on a lot of points about how being around nature or being around like a lot of green for some reason uh, decreases your depression levels or your levels of stress. And also being in like a condo or being in some type of office, being inside in general will have more polluted air than if you were outside because now you have just uh, you have a gust of, of fresh air coming in as opposed to a containment of air within your house within your condo within your apartment and overall if you continue to live in this polluted air that's going to affect your health and also so within the video what i gathered was not only will it physically uh hurt you or be detrimental to you mentally affect you and I, I actually did feel the effects of just staying in my condo every fucking weekend it was like I don't know it made me feel like a loser but at the same time it also made me feel I don't know I just naturally got more depressed or more sad every time I was in my condo so I decided like within this week or maybe within I think I have a mission at this moment and my mission is to possibly try to go to each state national park within Florida. I don't know if I'm going to do it within a given year, but I think I'm going to at least try to do like some type of road trip or something like that where I go to a different state national park, try to walk around, try to be around greenery, nature. Um, and try to do that at least once every week. I think that would be pretty fun to do. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it all the time. And at the same time, there's obviously, if you see here, cars, there's cars and stuff. You know what's, what's really fucked up? Um, when I finally got here, this was like, it took me 40 minutes to get here. But when I finally got here, I had to pee real bad. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm trying to find the office, right? I were trying to find some area where there's like it seems like there's a restroom couldn't find any place 
Then I see a parking area and I see like an, a, a building that looks like an office. And then within the office, there's this big um, sign that says restrooms and it has like a direction as an arrow pointing, you know, to the right. So I'm like, okay, great. I can use the restroom. Um, so when I get out the car and I go to the direction of where they said the restrooms are, I see a couple of doors, like four doors there. Um, and I try to open each one of them and it was like locked. So then I was like, okay, so do I just piss outside or some shit? You know what I mean? I mean, it's like the grass. I, I, I think my urine has some fluid that the grass can absorb or some shit and, you know, be able to grow. I don't know. So I actually like pissed somewhere outside. I sort of feel bad about it. I don't know if I should feel bad about it. Is that supposed to be normal? Are we supposed to be able to piss in national parks? I don't know. Um, but instead of, you know, besides the pissing part, uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to walk around for at least it says you should get out at least for 45 minutes because you absorb the sunlight There's not that much Sun right now. I'm sweating um, But that's the plan I'm also going to try to put my GoPro camera on while I'm walking around and hopefully I can avoid people and at the same time capture footage Yeah, so that's pretty much it the end. Uh, is there anything else I want to say? Um I'm actually eating more meat and lowering my carbs and lowering my sugar intake and seeing what happens in terms of diet. Uh, I've noticed I try to stay away from meat for months because it has high, high amounts of choline. But this week I've been eating a lot of chicken breasts and egg whites in order to increase my choline intake and at the same time decreasing the amount of like uh, foods I eat like uh, potatoes and, and things that have a lot of carbs and starches like potatoes and stuff. To see if I have any success or any difference in terms of my odor or reactions I get. And so far I didn't really see any. I'm sweating like a motherfucker. But yep, that's pretty much it. The end.